guys, today we have another designing video. So this is how to make. And last time, as you if you watched it, I made an H two O design. Today I'm making a Jack or Lantern design. All right. So you can pick any car for this. I'm gonna cut off this video because it saves a lot of more time. Plus, I don't want this video to be so long. As you can see, I got the hail kit, but what I like about this is, this is perfect for design because it got the perfect, and I mean perfect shade of orange we need. So first go to, no, stupid, decals, go to shapes, and we don't want to do it on both sides because as you can see, I am poor and I do not have the membership, membership, but if you do, you can just uh, copy this design and just put it on the sides. But for me, since I'm a poor person, just going to do it on like the hood. So first, you can, you can place it anywhere. You can do it right here, right here, right here. It depends. It's going to ruin the design if you're going to put a blower, so don't put it right here. Put it somewhere around like right here. So once you figure out your placing, uh, make it larger a little bit. Hold up, and then make it black. Then you have two choices. One, either make the same body color as orange, or just make your own type of orange so it just doesn't really go with the color of the orange in the car. So then shrink it down, and this is going to be your outline. So then, it's really easy by the way, go to, so go to shapes, and find a triangle. And then go like this, go, f and you want to try to get the brightest yellow you can to give it that glowing effect. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this design, come on, it's nearly Halloween, so why not doing a Halloween design? Anyways, off track, then once you put the two triangles, it should look like this. Okay, next, I don't remember, but maybe shapes, oh, yeah, get this, I know, I know you're gonna yell at me, but just trust me. So, go like this, and then switch it, oh no, and I mean, try your best to get this the same size as that, and I wouldn't rip, and it should look like something like this, then go to uh, grunge, grunge, I hope I'm saying that correctly, get this specifically this one because otherwise first of all ooh, it's your choice up to guys you can either pick this or you can pick this for me i'm gonna pick this go to orange just trust me go to orange and go dark because for some reason when you go orange you go darker it turns brown and now make that short and boom, you got yourself a jack-o'-lantern. But well, wait, we're not done with the design yet. And I feel like it's optional, but if you want to, you can just go to custom text, any font you want. This time I'm gonna pick this font and spell the words jack-o'-lantern. Now, since for some reason the game doesn't add like dashes, you have to do each one. So you have to put jack, jack, lan Jack, Jack, O, O, Lent, Lent, turn like that. So after you get that done, go like this. And also, these are for the people that are gonna that are gonna put the text. If you're not gonna put the text, get off the design. Get off the videos because you got the you got the design video already. To the people that are gonna add the text, watch me. So then put put this put jack and then try to match the position so here's the thing ditch that and then re you'll see in, in a little bit and then put o and put it right here 
and then duplicate the O and make a lantern. Looks a little bit too large. Let me just enlarge it. Okay, looks big enough. And it should look like this. Now, the reason why I said don't add it to the other side, because if you put Jack in the same position right here, it's going to be like Lantern O Jack. And tell me, does that make sense? No. So, duplicate. Basically, go into reverse. So, I know this might be, like, I know this is annoying, but be, be patient, guys. Look on the other side, and then like that. And then try to match it. For example, uh, I need to make lantern go a little bit farther and done. And then the rest you can just try to middle it out. So like for all, you have to add the exact amount of space. And then finally, you put jack and then you just keep going. And you put it right there. Make sure you look in it. It's the exact side. Now, if you're doing the text, you should get a product like this. Now, we're not done yet. Go to parts. Um, it's your it's your own to decide to put what you want, but I'm not gonna put anything. And for some reason, the game is glitching out. Come on, and for drag queen, up to you. But really, we're gonna do this, so. So, you can pick any, but it has to look like either, it has to look like this, like, like this. So for me, I'm gonna pick this, and then I'm gonna pick, hold up, what's a good looking one? It's up to you, by the way. You can add this. Man, that just doesn't look good. So let me switch it up a little bit. And yes. So now you have two different rims. But wait, we're not done yet. Go to, go to B. And for this one, go to B. Use like all the colors. Actually, for spoke, just put black because it'll give that gnarly look. So then put orange for everything. Spoke, spokes are up to you. Put, you can put white, but I mainly chose black. And it should look like this. And there you go. This is the Jack O' Lantern design. And I hope, and I want to say something. If if you have any other Halloween thing ideas I should try and pick ones that I may try can do because for some reason I don't have the membership. So give me ideas in the comments below so I can make like Halloween themed or Christmas themed like that designs in the comments so I can do these. And bye guys and have a good race. Hold up. Okay, actually, bye guys and have a good race.